In this Photoshop design tutorial, I'll teach you how to do a simple IKEA stock home logo in Photoshop. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny and you can find me over at RetailPro.com. On this channel, you get to learn everything about Photoshop design in weekly quick tutorials. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about or show you guys how to create a very simple IKEA Stockholm logo in Photoshop. Yeah, enough of the talking. Let's get right away into the tutorial. Okay, so over in Photoshop in our right hand side here in the layers palette, you guys get to see already our finished design. So again, the background and obviously our design on top. So let's start right away out here just with our background. It's just a normal white layer. And then on top of that, we have again a background. So obviously this is now set to 30%, 100% it will look like that. Also, if you want to have this, have a look down below in the description. There's a free link to the Tronix Design Media Package. Okay, so I'm going to first of all set the opacity now to 30%, so our logo here can shine through just a little bit better. Okay, so for that, again, I'm going to set both of these, press Command G, and put that in a group and rename this to Background. Okay, so that's my first, first step. Also, I'm going to press now Command G for all the Windows people, please press Control when I say Command. Great, so the next step will just be the design. So let's start out now just with a fresh new layer. I'm going to go actually to the tools palette here and go over to custom shape tools. And then also into the shape library at the top and we'll select a very thin squared box here. Also guys, if you don't have these shapes, please have a look down below. In the description is a free link again to the Tronix Design Media Package where you can download all of these shapes as well for free. Okay, select that. First of all, I'm going to hold shift on the keyboard. to Let this equally expand. And just going to make a rough selection like this. I'm not going to work too much with guidelines. I'm going to try to make this a bit quicker. Please, if you uh, work with this, use guidelines here from the top. Okay, so first of all, you guys see we still have white outlines. I'm going to go to the stroke area here and set this to transparent so we don't have anything anymore. Then I'm going to go over to fill. And under fill, I'm going to set this also to fill. I'm going to set this to a black foreground color. And first of all, just hit enter, accept it. Great, let's move the box to the side. Okay, so we've got the box set, and now I'm gonna work just with the text. I'm gonna press T on the keyboard, make a nice big selection here, and first of all, write IKEA. Okay, so it's still very big. I need to change my font for that. So first of all, I'm gonna just go to the font area here and select a font here. And in Photoshop CC, uh, it actually remembers what type of fonts you've used in the last go. So over here, again, you can see I've worked also with Nexa Lite and Nexa Bolt. So I'm going to work with Nexa Bolt in this tutorial. Also, if you want to know more, have a look down below in the description. I've listed all the fonts for you there to find them on the web. Now, first of all, I'm going to set this to around 70 pixels and as well black foreground color, which we've done already. And I'm also going to work a bit with the tracking in my character box. If you guys don't have the character box, please go to window and just tick off here character box. Now, let's go to the tracking over here. I'm going to switch this to zero and hit enter. Great, so I've got my text already. I'm gonna go to the move tool, move this slightly down a bit and a bit further away. Then also what I'm gonna do is just duplicate this layer so I don't need to create this whole process again. So I'm just gonna press command J, again for Windows people, please press control. So for you it's control J. Then I'm just gonna move this down a bit, press T on the keyboard, select it again, and now I'm obviously gonna write the name. So again, you can write whatever you want or whatever you need. I'm going to go with Stockholm again and also select it to zero tracking and also Nexabolt regular and also black foreground color for now. I'm going to accept it and once again do the same process again. Command J, duplicate the layer, take the move layer and the move tool and move this down a bit. I'm also going to select the text tool, select it all again. And now what I'm going to also do is obviously change it to a slogan. So this will be now interior design or some, something in that direction. Okay, select it all with Command A. And first of all, I'm going to switch this now to a new font. So again, select the fonts. I'm going to go all the way back up to my fonts here because I've worked again with them previously. So first of all, what I'm going to select here is again, Helvetica Neue Thin or actually Light. You can also go over to the options here. There's Ultra Light, Thin, Light and so on. I'm going to go with Thin like so and make it a bit smaller. So let's go around 20. Yeah, a little bit more, 23 pixels actually, that's great. 
and also the character box here, the tracking. I want to push this up at least to 100, yeah, a little bit more, 150, actually a bit more, 160. Okay, great. So I'm just selecting a very small font here and then also pushing the tracking quite a lot. Ooh, like this. Maybe I'm going to push it a bit more. Let's select it again. I want it to end right away with the K. That's also totally up to you. So it's going to be a 180 on my side. And let's maybe go with just 20 pixels over here. Okay, so I'm going to push it just a bit further still. So let's have a look here. So it's going to be 280 by 20 pixels. I'm going to accept it. And with the move tool, moving it just a little bit down. So I'm basically looking at the spacing here between Ikea and Stockholm, between the fonts. And now I'm also looking at the same spacing here so that that is a bit set in. Great. So select all with command or control, all the three layers here, and I can now move them all together. Great. So again, select the shape as well. I'm also going to move this slightly over into the center because it just looks a bit better for me. I'll also zoom out a little bit. Just press Z on the keyboard. Zoom out a bit. Okay, it will be a bit smaller on your screen, so maybe let me zoom in again for you guys. Great, so next step now again, interior design. Let's duplicate this layer. Command J and move this all the way down here. I'm going to select the text tool again, select all of it again, and just now press in capital letters X. Okay, let's also make the X really nice and big, something around 200. Okay, let's select it first of all. Let's actually go with 220. Okay, I'm going to select that and accept it. Now, with the move tool again, V on the keyboard, I'm just going to move this here into the center. Okay, and I think it's still a bit too thick, so I'm going to make it even thinner. So select the text tool again, select the X, select it, and let's go with something like ultra light. Yeah, I like that. Pretty nice and thin. Great, so space it a bit more into the center. Again, guys, you can also work with guidelines. Simply just go to view, and here, new guide, and you can also enter some values to add some new guidelines. Now, I'm going to go back to IKEA and duplicate this layer. So, Command J, move this up. I'm first of all just going to rename everything, and I just want the first letter here. Okay, I'm also going to change the font size for this, maybe like 30 pixels, and want to work here also with bold. Okay, accept it, and let's move that all the way over here. Okay, I'm going to still space it a bit further. And now I'm just going to duplicate this letter. So Command J all the way to over here, somewhere in the center. Command J again, move it over here. Command J again, and move this over to here. Great. And now I'll just rename the letter. So basically select it. Okay. And now it's selecting the X. It's very frustrating. So what you can do is basically just go to your layers over here and press one copy. And if you double tap onto the text layer, it will basically select it again. Now you can just write a K, okay, maybe in capital letters. And we're going to use the third one. I'm going to write E. And the last one. And A. Okay. And now I'm just basically going to move this into the right position here. And also the K. Let's select that again. You can also just select the layer. I'll move this up a little bit. And then again. The last one here. Great. So that's basically it, how you create it. Super easy and super simple. Last step would still be selecting all your layers. You can also hold shift on the keyboard, select everything, press command G, put it together in a group and call this design. Great. So this was uh, everything from previous. So again, now we have the background and the design separately. And one last step here. Again, if you guys can see that it's a bit dark. If you want to make this a different color of the complete logo, you can just double tap onto the group here and go into the layer styles. In the layer styles, just go to color overlay and right away you guys can see it changed already. Over here, you need to tap onto the color picker and then you can change the color either to red, blue, orange, yellow, whatever you want. So again, I'm going to stick with a bit of an off gray here, very subtle and slick. I'm going to hit OK and that's it for our design. Okay guys, super easy to create this tutorial, not too heavy. Again, like I said before in the tutorial, use a bit of the different fonts in order to work a bit quicker. So duplicate the font and also obviously move them around and use some more guidelines in order to do this a bit better. Not as quick as I am doing. Yeah, so that's basically it guys. If you're like me and just can't get enough of Photoshop, 
Click on your screen right now to subscribe. We send out free Photoshop tutorials every single week. And if you still have anything to mention, leave it down below in the comment box or send us your tutorial request right away to tutorials at retailproduct.com. Thanks again guys for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one. Yeah, and you are still here. So that most probably means you want to see some more tutorials. Then just click over here on the right hand side and you'll find some more design tutorials. It's super hot today.